All right, October 26th of 2023, and uh, I was asked on Twitter, how do I trade TQQQ? And for those of you who are new, this is my favorite ETF by far to trade, uh, simply because it moves and because you can buy this ETF, of course, but you also can short it. And it's a very, very affordable ETF that mirrors uh, QQQ. So for those of you who are new and don't have a large bank account, this is an ideal one. And, and, and as a matter of fact, the people that I work with, this is like one of four that I recommend that you follow and that you just trade over and over again until you get to the point where you understand price and this is what I have on my other screen as far as what I follow these are the four ETFs that I, I recommend that everyone learn how to trade uh, this mirrors the S&P this mirrors IWM this is the Q's and this is the Dow of course but one of the things that I like about this is that, as many of you know, I like to trade a, a simple chart. I don't have a lot of crap on my charts. And the second question that I get a lot is, what do the colors represent on uh, your charts? And for those of you who are new to Thinkorswim, you'll realize that you can customize toss to do whatever you want it to do. And for me, I had to take these time frames and make it easier for my brain to understand what is happening for the year, the quarter, the month, and the week. And I know there are several talented traders out there who are able to keep all that in their head, but Part of trading is understanding your strengths and your weaknesses. And the goal of any coach is to always play to the strength of the player. Well, I am a visual learner. And for me, that is why I had to color code everything on my chart. And so you can see right here, this very top one right there at 47.14, this guy right here, this is the color that I use for the year. This mustard is what I use for the quarter, okay? The purple is what I use for my month. And then if I uh, need to, I will put the week in there as well. So let, let's go ahead and do that. And so this is uh, the time frames that I use. The year, the quarter, the month, the week, and the daily, and for those of you who have had a one-on-one -on -one with me, I also use the 130, but that's a different session, okay? Let's just focus on what we're talking about today as far as seeing the big picture and how I trade TQQQ. So let's just say that the high on this is 3577. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll come down here, and I'm just going to shoot a line. It doesn't matter where it is because we're going to edit it by just double clicking on it. And I don't know if 3577 is the high or not. Uh, my screen is adjusted so I can't see the high and lows on it. But I'll use orange for that. And look at what it did. It just immediately put that line and that color where I need it to be. So how does all this play together? So you'll notice on the top well, row here, it's very, very clean, okay? But what I really did, if I change all these settings here to match what I have for the daily, you can see how all these colors start to overlap right here. So one by one, if I go into this, look at what happens. This is the year high, right? This candle right here, that's the year. If I go into the quarter, you can now see where the quarter low is for some of these, right? This is my target, because right now we're in a two, two, two rev down. Go down to the monthly. You can see right here, we are breaking the monthly low 
previous month low right here and that's what that purple line is for and then for the week we talked about that right here this is the week and we can see it's actually 3559 for the high so I'm gonna come in here and I can edit that to 3559 okay now because I have all that, I'm able to clean up my screen here and switch this back to the default so I can see the big picture clearly, but yet it's represented on my daily chart. And it doesn't matter on the daily if I have it on a one year or if I pull it back to a two year like some of you know I do. I like to see the big picture and understand where we are in all this. But for the most part, I do try to stick to the one year. All right, that's it. Quick video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, I appreciate every one of you. And for those of you who uh, are joining me in the Discord channel every morning, thank you for showing up. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment.